with the introduction of the new Diva Claro lines of traditional looking smart switches. Lu Chuan also introduced an accessory switch for a new way to install three-way or more multiple-way switch setup. Let's check out the new Claro accessory switch today. Hi, this is David of tech Baba. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's check out how this new Luchuan Claro accessory switch looks and works to allow a three-way or multiple-way switch setup with the Diva Smart Dimmer Switch and Claro Smart Switch. This new accessory switch also has a couple of additional cool features which we'll go over later in the video. To set the stage with some background, prior to this accessory switch, there were two ways to set up a three-way or multiple-way switches with Luchuan smart switches. Except for the original non-pro dimmer switch, most of the Luchuan Cassetta smart switches, including the new Diva and Clero smart switches, can work with an existing mechanical switch in a three-way setup with a jumper wire. The other option for a three-way, a four-way, switches in three locations set up, or more ways is to cap the wires at the other switch locations and use Pico remote controls like this one in their places with wall plate brackets. Using a Pico remote control is also a quick way to turn a single pole Lutron smart switch into a three-way switch setup. Each Pico remote control does count towards the 75 device limit of the Lutron smart hub. It's easy to do, and I'll put a link to good detailed instructions from Lutron in the description below. While you're down there, do consider subscribing to the channel for more videos on useful technology for family. While these methods are still options for the new, more traditional looking Diva and Claro smart switches, I think the new accessory switch is the best option, starting with its matching toggle style looks. The accessory switch looks just like the Diva and Clara smart switches. In fact, it looks just like a traditional simple mechanical toggle switch. It doesn't have the dimmer slider and light of the Diva smart dimmer switch, nor the little LED indicator light on the Clara smart switch. Its depth is about the same as the other switches. In the back, there is a green ground wire and three other wires, a black wire, a blue wire, and a red wire. More on how to wire them up later in the video. Like the Diva and Clara smart switches, the accessory switch doesn't click to on or off positions. It just toggles. Let's wire one up and see how it works. Here I have a typical three-way switch with one switch at one entrance to our kitchen and the second switch at the other entrance controlling these three pendant lights above our island. On one end, I've already installed a Diva Smart Dimmer switch. By the way, for my thoughts and installation of a new Diva or Clara lines of Lutron Smart switches, check out the video I'll link here and in the description below after this one. So on this other end of the three-way switch, let's install this new accessory switch and check out how it works. When removing the existing switch here, just tag the wire going to the different color screw terminal with a little tape. Then connect the black to the black wire with the supply wire nut. Blue wire goes to the same color wire the blue wire on the other switch was connected to. In my case, it's this red wire. Then connect the red wire of the accessory switch to the wire we tag when we remove the old switch. And lastly, green ground wire to the exposed copper ground wire. Push all the wires in and screw in the switch on the top and the bottom and put back the cover. I'm just using the cover plate that was there before. All right, now that the accessory switch is connected, let's see how it works. In addition to the basic function of toggling the lights on and off, the accessory switch has a couple of extra functions. If the other main switch is a Clara smart switch, I can press and hold the off button for a second 
If the main switch is a Diva Smart Dimmer switch like my setup here, it will have a 30 second delay fade to off. And I can double tap the on button to turn it back on to full brightness, no matter what the dimmer setting is on the main switch. Great to have these extra controls with the accessory switch. It's also nice that it does not count towards the 75 device limit of the Lutron Hub. Lutron Smart Switches are not cheap, but I'm glad the Claro Smart Accessory Switch is not too expensive at $29.95 each. I'll have links to all these switches in the description below. The accessory switch complete the new Diva Claro lines of smart, traditional looking switches. It allows a 3 up to 11 multiple way setup to have all the same traditional toggle switch look. It also adds a couple of neat features while looking good. Now Lutron smart switches are still expensive compared to other brands, but they continue to be the most reliable smart switches I've tried. I went into why in my first video about these switches, I'll link here and in the description below if you want to check it out next. Have you tried smart switches from Lutron or other brands at home? Do your family members use them or like using them? Love to hear your experiences in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, subscribe to the channel and check out this video next. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment. Thank you.